Is that a camera? We are going over to Southern Minnesota to Finn and Bone Outfitters and uh, we're gonna hook up with our good friend Mark Minier and Lance the Lightning Sweeting. What do you got that goofy look on your face? We're going muzzleloader hunting and uh, obviously we're after big bucks. And I mean, not like big dollar bucks, but like big rat white-tailed. So hopefully the next two days starting tomorrow, we get a couple of cold mornings and we get catch these deer going from their bedding area to the food source. Got it? What are you shaking for? Where the breathing is easy, the living is good Out in the great outdoors Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats Vortex Mike's Country Meats Bart Line Barrels Leroy Meats Bait Rigs Tubble Towels, Magic Products, Easy Loader Trailers, and Heavy Shot. So remember, like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. Let me tell you, it is day number one of our muzzle loader hunt here in Minnesota with Finn and Bone Outfitters. Pretty excited. Uh, Dan got here a little bit earlier last night. We got in, got, oh, we got a whopping two and a half hours of sleep. Hunter, you, you don't look too bad for two and a half hours of sleep. Likewise. Hey, thank you. plan is to go get a big buck down. You ready to do that, Hunter? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. I don't know about Hollywood here. Assume I'm ready. Position. I'm just trying to catch a couple winks. You know, a little lack of sleep the last couple days. Yeah, a little warm out there today, Larry. A little warm, too. For this time of year, but it is what it is. Go out and make the best of it. Yep, that's a fact. That's all we can do. Bill for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. spinning rod on that black and gold cycle minnow again.
you're wondering what happened here, um, I got a little bit excited tonight. I shot a giant 11 pointer and uh, I had the scope a little too close to my face right there. So uh, definitely cut my nose open a little bit. I guarantee you I was bleeding more than the deer was. Introducing the new and improved Heavy Metal from Heavy Shot. 16% more downrange knockdown power with new higher density bismuth pellets layered over corrosion resistant steel. Try the new Heavy Metal today and increase your odds. Tighter patterns, longer range, clean kills. Heavy Shot. I didn't come this far to miss. Trophy Ice Fish, Green Bay's premier ice fishing guide service. Captain Lonnie Goldman specializes in trophy walleye and whitefish packages. Perfect for family, friends, and corporate outings. Restrooms on the ice and their exclusive shore lunch make Trophy Ice Fish the top choice for your ice fishing fun and comfort on the Bay of Green Bay. Check out TrophyIceFish.com or call Barbara at 920-255-2617 to book your ice fishing adventure. Magic Products is the fishing industry's number one leader in preserved bait and live bait storage. With hundreds of options in preserved baits, we have what you need for a successful day on the water. Hand-selected fresh bait and tested scents ensure the highest quality. Our live bait storage saves you money by keeping your bait alive and thriving. There it is! Look at the size of that! Holy moly! Just absolutely slobs. Oh! Oh my god, I don't know if that's big enough. <laughs> Magic Products, we're the best in baits and bait care. Attention, ice anglers. If you or a loved one have suffered from catching complications, looming boredom, or overwhelming humiliation among your peers, call the Vexlar Group today. If you fish blind like a frozen zombie, you may be eligible to catch fish this year. If you've ever found yourself saying, you know, it's just nice to be out, you may be a struggling angler, and we know you're hurting. Please help stop this angling epidemic today by visiting www.vexlar.com. My name is Sam Sobey, and I approve this message. Hey Lance, I'll tell you what, what an amazing animal. I mean, this was something, and I gotta tell everybody at home basically what happened. I had just gotten into the stand and I was there maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and uh, he just uh, basically appeared out of nowhere. I never heard him come in. I just all of a sudden looked and there he was, and I'll tell you, my heart just started thumping. Yeah. You know, this is probably one of the biggest bucks that I've shot in my lifetime here. And what an absolutely awesome animal. That's the cool part I love about hunting with you guys over here at Finn and Bone Outfitters. Just the amount of big deer that you guys have in this area is amazing. Yeah, Mark's got some awesome property here. The bluffs, the cornfields all surrounding it. You know, a lot of mature deer like this. The biggest thing is being patient, waiting for that right one to come. You know, you've been out here a number of times. You I see have. plenty of one, you know, 120s, 130s, but, you know, be patient, wait wait for your time and get a dandy like this here. And there's no doubt about that. We're going to get this thing out of here and uh, get on to some more hunting. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody, hang on to your heinies. Didn't take long to gut that deer out, kind of nice. Clean up our hands and we're gonna be back out in the woods here. I'm definitely the camera guy for the next four days. I guess everybody wants to have a clean camera guy.
Turner tracks. Here we go. Are you tired of dealing with frozen tip-ups? Check out the heated Bite Me Box tip-up with ultra-sensitive adjustable bite settings. No more cleaning out iced up holes. False wind trips are a thing of the past with our windproof flag. Interchangeable extra reel assemblies. Great for panfish and all big game fish species too. If you want to catch more fish with less hassle, check out our products and video demonstrations online at boxtipup.com. Hi, I'm Kate with Wings Over Wisconsin, and I'm proud to be part of an organization that concentrates on Wisconsin's natural resources. All the money that they raise for their banquet stays in the local area. That's how I was able to put in two beautiful ponds and some nesting habitat on my property. We encourage everyone to attend our banquets, or better yet, if you'd like to start up a chapter to create funds to do projects like this in your area, call our state office or visit our website, wingsoverwisconsin.org. like a car wash? Are you kidding me? Car wash? Does it look like I want a car wash? Remove nozzle. Took a little bit for that to like click in. Remove nozzle. Hey, that's what happens when you uh, guide all day, drive all night, sleep a little bit. No, it's not. Too. Who's old? I am not old. Right? Hey everybody, we're up in Ashland today and uh, fishing with our good friend Tommy Hicks and his dad, senior Tommy Hicks. We've got quite the, the deal going on here. Hey, uh, keep it down a little bit, okay? Football. I thought that stuff was done with. No, you can hit mute. You can? We're, oh, we're mute. Yeah, that's, I thought it was kind of rude to interrupt us. Uh, going and doing some crappie fishing. Um, looking forward to it. We're kind of going to be going into some lakes that we're going to have to do a little bit of walking. The slush is unbelievable up here because the amount of snow, lack of cold weather. Uh, so the conditions are a little bit tough, but you know what? When it comes to con tough conditions, you got the right guy right here, not a millennial. Well, you're catching some crappies. Today we're going to catch giant crappies though. Giants. You see my stick? What do you got there? I got a little gift from Pat this morning. The new mags. Me, custom my first mags. And hearing all the hype, I finally get to. Give him a few a try, yeah. Well, you won't just get one, I'll tell you that. I know, we're gonna steal from his truck and everything. Like, hey, is that, <laughs> hey, is that your wife walking out here? Honey! Hi. Mm. I got one. Tuck it. There you go. Nice way to start it. Yeah. Absolutely. On the slow poke. Not a giant, but it's a start. We're marking a few. They're just a little finicky here yet, huh? Had a couple other bites, but might be a little different color than yesterday. Good job. Sweet. Nice work. Hey, hey. All right. Senior. All right. Again, got honey. Got one. Yep. Nice job. Boy, are they not what they were yesterday when we scouted this out so far, but just some little guys. Looks like a better, a little better one. I'll tell you what, I still have not marked one yet, but I just went to that, uh, the Cobra, oh, that's a nice, oh, that's a nice crop. You gotta hold that one up there. Look how dark that fish is too. You guys came in here yesterday afternoon and scouted this out and took a little bit, but you guys did pretty darn good and some big fish. I saw the pictures. This morning we got up early, got in here, and it, we really have not marked a lot of fish. Actually, I have not marked one myself. You've marked, what, almost a dozen of them so far. Yep, yep. Waxies are 
they, it seems like that's what they want. And they're starting to wake up. That's a good to see. All right, Karape. Oh. Don't go away, don't go away, don't go. Don't go, please stay. How deep are you there, senior? Well, I got, I'm 23 here. Oh, senior, nice Fish job, on. nice job. The pressure was on. We, a lot of coaxing. There we go. We came a little shallow, tried for some gills. Like, I just got a little one. This one. Pretty, pretty gill. We'll take a bunch of them. Hey, Hunter, what do you think? Got him. Nice Ooh. Yeah, he's pretty. Look at him. He's so cute. Nice job, Tommy. Got him on the Meg's custom rod. Oh, I'm really liking this new rod. Yeah, that noodle is awesome. There. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice gill. Real nice, nice gill. gill. On the crystal ball. Are you tipping that at all? I do. I just got a fake waxy on there. Okay. I might actually come get some real ones off you. I think I just ran out. Unless Mackenzie needs one. Oh, all right, oh, Mackenzie. Yeah. Sun Tommy. poked out a little bit. We changed it up. Larry and Mackenzie and I come a little. Ooh. What do you got? Beautiful. Oh, that's a dandy gill. Look at that one. So the, how dark that Look fish is. Look at the colors, the purple on that thing. Super cool. You know, again, Tommy, it seemed like, you know, we got out here early this morning, but this bite definitely has picked up later in the morning. For Sun sure. is out now. And yeah, we weren't here yesterday morning. This is a new lake for us and uh, scouted out yesterday. We didn't get here till noon and it was noon to two. And today, same thing. We didn't have nothing this morning. We were getting a little nervous and now we're getting some crappies and gills. And Love it. It's a nice change up from uh, hitting the big lake. It is, especially a... this year with the way the ice conditions have been. Yep, yep, for sure. Took a little break. Go inland. What a hoot. Oh, and he bit it. Don't. Oh. What do we got here? Oh, got another one? Just a little guy. Oh, man. <sighs> they just can't get over the colors on them fish, though. They're super cool looking. Mackenzie, another one? Holy another moly. One. Oh, there. Get a big one. Look at her other way. Oh, that's another nice gill. Ooh, get them all, get them all. Okay, hold that one up. Whew. That one's not quite as dark as that last one you caught, but that's still a dandy. I tell you, Mackenzie just caught another great big gill. You guys are a fish. It is? Oh, oh, that's a dandy. Look at the colors. Look at the yellow in there. You know, and that was on that T ball jig it's another new uh, tungsten jig from bait rigs but pat let's talk a little bit too let's get the that fish back in the water let's talk a little bit too about the power noodles you know and yeah. that's what you're using there that's right what i'm using here and i've been trying a few different ones today but these fish have been picky it's a really small jig and uh, this tip's bit of really plastic. light on here so you kind of feel everything but i've had a tough day but that's the first fish so so how many different lengths of, of power noodles do you actually make? I usually stock about three, 28, 32, and 36, but I can make them from 26 to 36. And um, But that 32 has been the biggest seller. But okay. it's just got that really light tip so you can see, you know, an up bite on a small jig, but it's got the backbone. Because we're fishing 30 feet, you need to set the hook. So You're it's egg, got definitely. that backbone and handles bigger fish and... You know, I've had guys catch 10 pound walleyes on these rods, so it's. All right, yeah. well, let's keep her moving here and keep this bike going. Got him, Tommy. Feel pretty good. He's not a monster, but he's. We'll take that. Look at that. I like it. Well, you can tell some of them just get super aggressive, and some of them little guys are just coming up and going down. You can't let them ones bother you. You just fish through them and wait for one of these bigger ones to power up. 
Got him. You got him? Yep. Got him. Feel like a good fish? He was aggressive. Yeah, he feels good. He's all over the place. Well, he was just a good fighter. In her own, Larry. Come on. Come on, Tommy. Mackenzie's are like twice that size. <laughs> you hear that? My, my, my wife is doing pretty good today. That's all right. Speaking of catching, this guy calls himself a fisherman. <laughs> he got well, I'll tell you what. I don't last, even know if he's got a bite. The last couple, I did catch one. It was about a four incher. The last couple of shows when it comes to bluegills and crappies, I have definitely struggled with, and I cannot figure it out because I have the same baits as everybody else, the same technique, but it's going to change. Today is definitely going to change. This week's tip of the week is for Larry. In his instance, when you've only caught one fish, four inches long since 7 a.m., it's now two. I would change your bait. He's over there jigging the same thing. Can't break him, he's like an old Labrador. Here we go, finally my luck is gonna turn. Well, I don't, it's not a monster, but I gotta start somewhere, you guys, you know? Just nice little gill, that's about it. Hey, I'm on the board though. I'm not giving up. That's one thing I'm gonna tell you, I'm never giving up. I know I can do better. I think you're just getting old, man. That's the no, dude, you're I am out. never gonna. I'm never gonna get old. I can still kick your. Oh, got one. Hey, hey. Oh, oh whoa. Go. I was just grabbing a drink of water. Wow. She was grabbing my rod from me. What do you? Think? We'll take that. It's a good one. Yeah. Looks like it. That's another decent one. Yeah. Super thick, pretty fish. Yeah. Nice job, huh? Yeah. Stole my rod at pork. You can just stay here. I'll watch. I don't know. Yesterday, you guys came in here and really cracked some monster crappies. Had a couple that were pushing 15 inches. Today, we only had one that was, you know, I would say in that 13 to 14 inch range. Totally different bite than you had yesterday. Yeah. And you know what? Kind of thing, the way it goes is that the conditions were almost identical as they were yesterday. So what do you, what do you figure? I don't know. I really don't know. It baffles me. We've worked our butts off. We certainly have. We did everything we kind of found yesterday. We tried new parts today. Picked away at them, but they definitely were not not even close to the blue bay right now. No, and that's the way fishing goes. And that's uh, you know we've when you fish every day like we do, uh, you run across some days. You know sometimes more days than you want to run across. So if people want to get a hold of you and do some fishing inland or back out on Lake Superior, let's tell them how they can do it. Yep, you can give me a call at 715-292-4342. Hit us up on Facebook, Beyond the Catch. And you can email me at trollandtommy at hotmail.com. And don't forget the most important thing of all, it's a great day to be alive. And if you don't believe me, try missing one. I think he sometimes forgets that he's actually supposed to be the camera guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm jacked up. I'm jacked up. I'm jacked, jacked up. I'm jacked. Hey, I'm jacked. I'm always jacked up when it comes to going fishing. And he's got about as much hair as Tommy has, huh? Well, Way no, Tucker's got a little bit more, right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You know what? I'm off the sun drop. No more soda for me. Zero How many soda. Times have you said um, maybe once before, but you know what? It's, it, things take time. No, but it's definitely time for a little breakfast. Of course, the guy always gets to bed first. You know how this all goes, you know? He's kind of a cranky guy today. Typically, he's not, but I'm thinking of two days of pushing it hard out on Devil's Lake and then uh, jumping in the truck last night and only sleeping a couple hours, getting here and hunting this morning. That, that might make a guy like him just a little bit cranky. You try sleeping next to Smith snoring.